What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness. And in this video, I wanna talk about training sport, thinking street. Okay, so before I get started, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much for that. So let's get into it. So in my last video, I touched upon this a little bit. And when I say train sport, think street, it's actually something that Conor McGregor said but I don't think it's he made that up, made that concept up, you know, because a lot of times I'm sure uh, in the literature of martial arts and in individual martial arts who practice uh, worldwide around the world, everybody had this thought in their head, like when they're practicing a combat sport where they're thinking, oh, wow, um, let's say on top of this guy, I'm not allowed to maybe step on his face but if I was in the streets and this was a self-defense situation, yeah, I, I would be, this is what I would do. Okay, so because a lot of times, right, the argument is, well, you know, you guys train, for people who train uh, combat sports, such as uh, judo, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, uh, boxing, wrestling, you know, and, and in these combat sports, they have their competitions. And obviously in competitions, you have rules, right? Um, and some of these rules, obviously, are there to protect the, uh, the competitors, so to keep them safe. So the argument with um, some people who do uh, martial arts that don't have competitions, that don't have uh, sparring, and that are more, I would say, self-defense oriented, they say that, well, you know, like you guys just train under rules and stuff like that, but if there was no rules, you would lose. You know, you would, uh, all it would take would be a knife poke, a kick to the balls, or, or something to, you know, something to that effect, you know, something dangerous, and it would be over, and they could win uh, against, you know, uh, against these, these sport combat athletes, right? And I would argue against that because and this is something that I'll use a, a quick example of um, that came from Faraz Zahabi, the trainer from, uh, from TriStar Gym. He trains uh, GSP. You guys uh, must have heard of him. So he's a brilliant coach, brilliant man. And he touched on this in one of his videos. And he was saying how, well, listen, just because, for example, we'll talk about Muay Thai, okay? You train in Muay Thai, you go in the ring, there's rules, right? You can't eye poke the guy. Well, I mean, you have gloves, so you can't really eye poke him, but you know, you can't bite him. Uh, you can't kick him in the nuts, okay? So, and you guys are saying, well, yeah, but if I, if I were to, to get into an altercation with uh, Boy Cow, right? For you, those of you guys who don't know, he's like a legendary uh, Muay Thai champion. Like, the guy is sick, so you guys should check out some of the videos. <laughs> so anyways, so you would probably say, you say, yeah, but you know, I know, I know street fighting, I know self-defense, so I can, uh, you know, like if we cow would like uh, kick me and I would kick him in the nuts and, and do all kinds of stuff like that. Okay, but here's what you guys might not have thought of. I'm not saying you guys, but I'm saying to the people who uh, always argue this way, uh, saying that you know in combat sports you guys have rules, but if there was no rules, you would uh, you would you know you would get murked, right? You would get killed. Well, if you're fighting Boy Cow in a street fight, right? Now he could kick you in the balls as well. So you're telling me that this guy, because he trains in combat sports doesn't have this in the back of his mind if he were to get into a street fight, I would argue that he would be able to, to uh, he would have this in his mind, right? It wouldn't be a big deal to him. And what Faraz Sahabi said is, guess what? He could probably kick you in the balls too. He's probably thinking that and, and, wait for it, he could do a better job of kicking you in the nuts than you can. He'll be so precise, he won't miss. He'll just get his toes right on that testicle and make it explode. And you gotta remember, he's a Muay Thai champion. So this, his kicking prowess 
is above and beyond what someone uh, who just practices ball kicking, uh, testicle kicking in their, in their um, everyday self-defense thing, right? This guy is a highly conditioned athlete that kicks people in the head and knocks people the fuck out, breaks legs, breaks banana trees for fun, for training. So, and he's you know precise with his legs. He's been doing this since the age of, uh, I don't know, two or three, as soon as the guy was able to walk. Maybe he learned how to kick before he learned how to walk. So you're telling me you're gonna need this, you're gonna kick this guy's in the nuts? You know, so no, I, I don't think that, um, I think he'll kick you, not, not you guys, but he'll kick you in, uh, in the nuts before you, you ever even get to, uh, you know, give it a go. So that's one argument there, okay? And the thing is, you can train, com and a lot of guys are like this. It's not, not because that guys who train combat sports, okay, are like dumb. Like all of a sudden you're telling me that they never thought of doing these illegal things, these dangerous things like, you know, crushing the guy's windpipe, biting his ear off, sticking his, you know, uh, sticking uh, fingers and eyeballs and, and stuff like that. You know, like guys who practice combat sports are aware of this. A lot of them are. Maybe some of them aren't, but... I mean, you're, 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 you know, like if you think that that most of these guys are like just naive and they're like, oh no, we do combat sports and and oh man, if you poke me in the eye, I'm gonna tell you stop, stop, uh, you're not allowed. I, I don't think it's uh, it works that way, man, because these guys are fighters too, okay? They're just practicing a combat sport and they're com if they're competing in the competitions, they have rules. But I mean, if you if we're not in the context of a competition, these guys will all of a sudden you have these highly trained athletes, right? Who who have done a lot of sparring, and they're used to this pressure, this adrenaline. They're they're pressure tested, right? Their their techniques work uh, very well, very well in combat, and they've been able to execute it in uh, in high pressure situations. All of a sudden, these guys are unchained, like. Now you just took off all the chains from these guys and you're like, do whatever you want. So holy shit, this opens up so many doors to these guys, right? So they're not gonna keep fighting the way they fight if they were like, if they were in competition. You see what I mean here? So this argument of, um, of you know, combat sports not being realistic, I think is false. It's not. It's, it's not indicative of what these guys can actually do if you were to take, out the, take off the rules. If you take out the rules, then obviously, like, uh, it's barbarian mode. It's time to, uh, uh, it's medieval time, right? They can do whatever they want. And of course, you can do whatever you want too. But then, if you haven't been uh, tested and you haven't practiced as much as these guys in these extreme, uh, extreme yet safe uh environment so to speak in competition environment then chances are you're going to lose right like of course there's always the exception and yes maybe you do catch one of these guys off guard and stuff like that and you know it's not to say that if you don't do combat sports you're not able to uh that you would lose against a combat sports guy i'm not saying that what i'm saying is that this idea that uh like combat sport guys don't understand street fighting and and you know like it's not it's not true like fighting is fighting and, and anybody who's training and competing a lot in, in in a combat sport i mean the guy has a little bit of of um of violent tendencies in the back of his mind you know like he's just it's just under control that's all you know and um so that's it so if you were to train in a combat sport i would encourage you to also Think street, think, and when I say think street, I mean think of a way that you could apply above and beyond what you already do, right? Uh, in a self-defense situation, if you really had to uh, uh, to defend yourself, right? And then because you would have to end it quick, and you know maybe your your safety, your life, all that would be on the line, uh, so to speak. So you would have to so. 
of course, you know, I'm sure there's combat athletes who never think street, but I think uh, for those who don't, then it's, it's a good idea to think street. And Conor McGregor said that. And like I said, I'm repeating myself, but whatever. So that's it, guys. That's the point I wanted to make in this video. So this, this argument that uh, combat, uh, sports combat guys, like, you know, have rules and, you know, that's why they would, they would potentially lose against, like, not potentially, but they, they're very likely to lose against uh, these traditional, not traditional, but these self-defense uh, based um, arts. I think it's, it's the wrong way to see it. And I hope it doesn't ever happen to uh, anybody who practices a self-defense uh, an art for self-defense without being pressure tested to go up against a guy uh, a sports combat athlete who all of a sudden is unchained you know has no more like ee. just saying man it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a, a quite an experience in my opinion okay guys so that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed that I hope it was informative um, let me know what you think Leave it down there in the comments. Like, uh, com of course, comment. Like the video if you like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, click on the notification bell. And most importantly, if you have somebody who likes this, hey, share it with them because the channel actually grows faster if you guys share. I just learned that recently because I've been watching a lot of uh, YouTube uh, tutorial things on how to grow the channel. And um, yeah, so if you guys want to help me out to share the video, that would be uh, the best thing. So anyways, thank you very much, guys. I appreciate your time, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.